Hey friends, it's Brittany, and if you're new to my channel, there's a red subscribe button below, so uh, click it. I know, it's a commitment, and commitment is scary, but sometimes you just gotta take that leap of faith. <laughs> uh, this video needed to happen. It is not gonna be my normal sketch or DIY or really polished video. It's gonna be me talking because there are some things that I haven't been telling you guys and it's been killing me. Things are about to get real. My world has been completely flipped upside down and there's been so many changes in just the past three months that I'm still trying to take it all in. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? I randomly met my current boyfriend at a coffee shop off a of Sunset, which is in Hollywood, about a year ago. He says for him it was love at first sight, but for me, I had only been single for two weeks and I was in no rush to get into back. I just didn't, was not ready to date. I really thought I was never gonna date again. Like I was at a point that I was just, I not interested like I thought you know I was just gonna get like five dogs and make videos like that was my life plan and I kind of thought he was a player because he was really cute and confident and a doctor and I was just like you're too slick every part of me was like mm, don't trust him he's gonna take your heart and flatten it and bulldoze it and then take a shovel and whack it into like a million tiny pieces so we're at the coffee shop and we had a nice little chat and then I went to leave and he asked me out to lunch the very next day which no one in LA does here is how dating in Los Angeles works you go on a date you don't text or call for three days after the date, then you string them along for weeks before you maybe see them again. The only reason I agreed to go to lunch with him is because no one does that, so I was just shocked and I didn't have time to say no. So it's the next day, we go to lunch, good conversation, I'm leaving lunch and he's already texting me. So this pattern continued for weeks where we would go out and then he'd keep texting me and then we'd see each other every day or every other day or every three days, but be in contact with each other. And about like date nine, I was like, oh, I like him. I had kind of given up on the idea of soulmates or true love. And I knew I didn't want to settle, but I just never had really been in love. So I didn't really expect it to happen. And that's what made it so amazing is that I just, I wasn't looking for it. And that's when I found it. And I actually have a small confession Louie is Milosh's dog. So when I said I got it from a friend, it was actually my boyfriend's dog. And my boyfriend kept having to come back and forth from San Diego because that's where he was living when we started dating. He was here for some surgery thing and then went back to San Diego when we met. So it was really like a freak thing that we met. And um, Louie um, was staying at his aunt's house. So he kept having to leave him to come see me. So I said, well, why don't you have Louie come live here? So it was funny because Louie moved in and then Milo sh started basically living here too <laughs> because when the dog moved in, he kept coming to see Louie and then it just kind of happened. Like we didn't talk about it. We just kind of started living together and that was about five months ago. I've been hiding so much from you guys and it feels so good to be honest. Everything was just really natural. Like after two months of dating, I was like, I love him and I want to marry him someday. So it just worked. And about like four months ago, we were just talking and he was like, you know what? You're basically already my wife. And I said, yeah, pretty much. He's like, we should just get married. And I said, okay. <laughs> so. That's how that conversation happened. There wasn't like a big proposal with like, you know, champagne and flowers. It was just a conversation and we're like, okay, well, let's do it. And so we started hunting around for rings and I've been looking at like diamond engagement rings that were vintage because I knew I wanted to, uh, an old ring because I just like old things. I like filigree. I like things that have history. And I felt like it was also better for the environment and more ecologically sound because it's not a newly mined diamond. So I felt like I was doing my part. And I was gonna do the whole like, when I found the ring and then announce it on social media, like, hey, I didn't say no. You know, like, like one of those things. And while I was in New York and I was also looking at rings and working for those two weeks, that was about <laughs> three and a half months ago, I just knew something was off. Like I was like, something was weird with my body. I don't want to go into details, but I had my suspicions. And I got back from New York and I had my suspicions. I was like, something is not right with my body. 
And so I ordered like three pregnancy tests off of Amazon, took all of them, and all of them said that I was pregnant. And trust me, no one was more shocked by the fact that I was pregnant than me. Milos was shocked, but happy, because he wants like five kids, and I'm like, I'm only popping out two. And I mean, I, I had a plan for my life. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna work for three or five more years, and then maybe think about having children in the future. Not right now. But sometimes God or the universe has its own plans. Like there's a saying that I really like that says that man plans, God laughs. <laughs> he was laughing. And I'm not gonna lie, like I cried for two days straight and was like, my life is over, I'm gonna be a mom. And I really didn't have a lot of time to adjust to the fact that I'm gonna be a mother before morning sickness kicked in and it kicked in hard. You wanna know what happened to my channel and my videos? I have been throwing up for two and a half months and I mean puking, nauseated. I have never been so sick in my life. Like at one point we went to the urgent care because I was losing so much weight and they had to put me on this medication that's like anti-nausea but it's not gonna hurt the baby because I was losing so much weight they were gonna have to put me in the hospital on IVs because my body was like did not understand that I was having a baby. It was like creating all these histamines and making me so nauseated. I haven't been able to work. The two DIYs that I did, like, it took me all week to do. I would like, you know, maybe work on it for an hour or two every day making those items, like the jacket and the pom-pom keychains, and then be puking and so sick in between. I didn't style my hair for two and a half months or even really wash it. I did a lot of dry shampoo. Like I just kept putting it in a bun. And I've been living in overalls because they put no pressure on your stomach area. So like every photo of me in the past two and a half months has been me in overalls. And if you didn't believe me, here is the physical proof that I have something in my belly. <laughs> Look, it's right there. But let me tell you, Milos has been amazing. Like doing all the housework, taking care of Louie, cleaning up my vomit, TMI. I am currently in my 14th week, almost into my 15th week, and I have no belly. I've looked online on Pinterest and Google as to what a 14 week old belly should look like, but my baby is playing hide and seek. So what all this means for me right now is I wake up. I eat a breakfast that is high in protein because I have to take 70 grams of protein into my body every day right now. I then try to go to a gym because I can't stand the heat. So I have to be inside an air conditioned area and then try not to be nauseated while I walk on a treadmill. Then I have to come home and eat more protein and vegetables and organic food. Then I have to take a sh ton of vitamins because you need a ton of vitamins when you're pregnant to make the baby healthy. And I just have been working on letting go, like just trusting the universe and my life. And I'm kind of attached to the little sucker right now. So I'm, I'm excited to like for it to get here so I can play with it. I like get to go to Disneyland and like Legoland and theme parks and water slides and I'm so game. And I've had my life in one path since I moved to LA and I've been on YouTube for nine, almost 10 years, and I've just worked seven days a week, and this is a whole shift right now. So my videos might shift a little bit just depending on how I feel or my energy level, but I wanna keep making stuff. So it might be vlogs or like talking videos like this, or I might be able to sneak in a music video because I have no stomach, so I don't have to have just like, you know, pregnancy themed videos if I don't look like I'm pregnant. I'm engaged and pregnant, <laughs> surprise! This is my baby daddy. This is Milo, she wanna say hi? Hi, hi, hi guys. Hey, <laughs> so um, I saved the best for last, right? Exactly. <laughs> Are you happy that you're marrying me? I'm the happiest man on the planet. Are you happy that you knocked me up? Very much. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the first ultrasound. I feel, I feel it's just the camera. Okay, we were at the first ultrasound, and it was so funny because I looked over at him, and I was like, you did this to me. And he's like... <laughs> and I was so proud. He's so proud. So, um, yeah, this is my video. That's what's been going on in my life. I love you guys. And do you want to say anything to them? Yeah, sure. Well... Bye. 
Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.